There was a new research study published in the Journal of Annals of Nutrition and Metabolism, which looked at how a keto diet affects coronavirus COVID-19. Ketogenic diet, or keto for short, is a diet high in fat, moderate in protein, and low in carbohydrates. That's a diet where you limit foods such as rice, sugar, potatoes, and bread, and increase your non-starchy vegetables such as spinach, broccoli, and cauliflower instead and consume your protein and vegetables with healthy fat. And this study that I'm about to summarize looked at how keto diet affects viruses such as COVID-19. By the way, if you're new to my channel, I'm a nutritionist and a health coach who's all about providing you with the best science-based health and weight loss advice. So if you're interested in staying healthy and fit, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you would get notified whenever I release new videos. Okay, let's get straight to the study. The title says, Switching Host Metabolism as an Approach to Dampen SARS-CoV-2 Infection. And the authors of the study say, Here we are reviewing how changing person's metabolism, particularly changing from using glucose as a primary source of fuel to ketones as a primary source of fuel, affects the replication of coronavirus. And also, if you didn't know, our bodies can run on either glucose, when we eat carbohydrates, or on ketones, or ketone bodies, when we reduce our carbohydrate intake to no more than 50 grams of carbohydrates a day. There are three main ketone bodies, beta-hydroxybutyrate, acetoacetate, and acetone. And our bodies produce them from the fat that we eat and our own body fat, and it uses it for energy in the absence of glucose. And glucose is a simple sugar, by the way. So when you eat carbohydrates, they turn into sugar in your body. And ketones are a superior type of fuel. It's much cleaner, it creates more energy and less free radicals. No wonder that keto diet is more beneficial for recovering from COVID-19. Using sugar as your main energy source weakens your immune system. Let's come back to the COVID-19 and keto study. They also looked at the impact of intermittent fasting and supplementation with medium-chain triglycerides MCTs, such as lauric acid and how it affects the shield of the virus and the replication of the virus. And so they say, the combination of intermittent fasting and a ketogenic diet rich in MCTs, especially lauric acid that is found in coconut oil, is thought to help to prevent the virus and help to fight it off after being infected. So let's look at the reasons the authors explained keto works for COVID-19. A change in the metabolic pathway is called metabolic switching. Within these metabolic changes, the most significant change is switching from the glucogenic glycolytic pathway, which is a fed state, to the ketogenic pathway in the liver, fasted state. This can cause an increase in ketones, increase in mitochondrial stress resistance, increase in antioxidant defenses, increased autophagy, increased DNA repair, decreased insulin secretion, decreased mTOR, and decreased protein synthesis. This basically means switching from using glucose that creates a lot of toxicity in the body, increased inflammation, more free radicals, faster aging. You switch to using ketones that reduce your inflammation, strengthen your immune system, promote DNA repair, it turns off the mTOR that is all about faster growth and faster aging. Ketones activate cellular rejuvenation called autophagy instead of mTOR. It also decreases insulin. High glucose and insulin are actually at the root cause of most common chronic health conditions such as type 2 diabetes, cancer, dementia and heart disease. So going keto has a tremendous amount of benefits especially for someone trying to fight off this deadly virus. Then let's look at the reasons why lauric acid works. Coconut oil that is high in caprylic acid and lauric acid can be used as a ketogenic MCT supplement that is thought to help in switching off viral replication and reducing the severity of COVID-19 complications. Also, coconut oil and lauric acid found in it enhances the macrophage activity. It's basically a type of immune cell. So it helps by limiting inflammatory response in the lung tissue, 
as well as suppressing the main inflammatory molecule, a type of cytokine, which is one of the main players in the cytokine storm. Cytokine storms are these extreme out-of-control inflammatory responses observed in COVID-19 patients that often result in hospitalization or death. And during these severe cytokine storms, your immune system starts actually attacking your own body, which results in severe complications. And they also talk about intermittent fasting and how it helps for people infected with COVID-19. So let's look at the reasons why intermittent fasting works. The positive effect of intermittent fasting is triggering autophagy and the way how autophagy triggers the innate and adaptive immunity against viral infections, including the COVID-19. The lung epithelial cells that are infected with coronavirus release damaging molecular patterns, prompting the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines and chematokines. And these mediators attract inflammatory cells, including monocytes, macrophages, and T cells to the site of infection, which normally acts on resolving the viral infection. In case of a dysfunctional immune response, the uncontrolled viral replications, as well as the massive infiltration of inflammatory cells, destroy the airway epithelial cells, resulting in the release of several pro-inflammatory mediators. Okay, and this is getting too scientific, but it basically means fasting improves your immune system in various different ways. And then the authors of the study advise a diet regimen of ketogenic breakfast, along with supplementation with two doses of lauric acid-rich MCTs at breakfast and lunch times, followed by 8 to 12 hours intermittent fasting and dinner rich in fruits and vegetables could be a potential preventative strategy and complementary treatment to combat COVID-19 infections. So I would agree with some parts and have an idea of how to make this even more effective. So first we agree on a breakfast with coconut oil as it helps to prevent the viral replication and keep the body functioning at its best. A good example of such breakfast would be a keto coffee, that is a coffee with a teaspoon of coconut oil, a teaspoon of butter and 10 drops of liquid stevia for those who like it sweeter. And you blend it for a few seconds. Then another keto coffee for lunch. And then they recommend eating dinner rich in vegetables and fruits, leaving you 8 to 12 hours of fasting or non-eating in other words. So I would slightly disagree with this. You could have your two keto coffees, one for breakfast, one just before lunch, and that's what I actually do every day. And then have your lunch, that is low-carb, high-fat, ketogenic lunch. You could have some meat or fish, around 100 grams or 3.5 ounces, cooked in butter or coconut oil, together with oven-baked broccoli or cauliflower, or raw veggie salad with tomatoes, peppers, and olive oil. And you could have a green smoothie with spinach and berries. And for dinner, you would have the same again, a healthy keto meal. But of course, if you're not hungry, you can skip to lunch and have only dinner or skip to dinner, have only lunch. And then you would fast until the next day, leaving you at least 16 hours between your meals. And fruits actually would prevent you from getting into ketosis and decrease the benefits. And I have some other videos that you should check out after watching this video. I recently had COVID-19 myself and I'm now fully recovered. So I had quite severe COVID-19 symptoms. I had a fever for around four days. I had constant headache. I was feeling really tired, but the symptoms were quite unusual because one moment I would be extremely tired. I couldn't move. And then the next moment I would be again, full of energy and the fever is gone. And then again, I would have fever, weakness, shortness of breath, various body pains. And then again, feeling great. It's been around one week with no symptoms now, and I hope it's not gonna come back. So you can check out my other video that I recorded while having coronavirus, explaining exactly what I ate to get better faster. I did two 18-hour fasts and followed a clean low-carb keto diet with two smoothies a day, two keto coffees a day, and various berries, nuts, and seeds. And also, you can check my other video where I explain what is a ketogenic diet and how to start it correctly, or my video where I explain intermittent fasting. So I have a lot of useful content, so definitely check it out after. And hey, if you have COVID-19, 
Don't stress, don't panic. Be healthy and help your immune system to fight it off. Feel free to share what COVID-19 symptoms are you experiencing in the comment section below. By the way, this video is not a medical advice. I'm a nutritionist and I share this research with you. If you have any medical conditions, definitely discuss it with your doctor. And if you've enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you would get notified whenever I release new videos. It really helps with the YouTube's algorithm. And also, you can support my YouTube channel by buying me a coffee or signing up for my Patreon. There's a link down below in the description of this video that you can click on and donate a small amount to support my YouTube channel that is all about creating educational content that can help millions of people. So thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.